Today I'm going to be going over AMC and GameStop stock and why I believe these two stocks are about to explode. But before I do get into why I believe that, make sure to go down and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel because I do update you guys on AMC and GameStop stock every single day. So today AMC was up 5%. It hit a high of $5.36 and it never broke below $5. Its low was $5 flat. So you know it's looking extremely bullish. We've been going over all the bullish indicators on my channel. We could have a little red day. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean it's already been five days green in a row but we could also have a parabolic day and go past $10 in a second. It would just teleport to $10. If we go past $6, it's all uphill from there. In my opinion though, none of this is financial advice and I'm not telling anyone to buy, sell, or hold. I do have everything in AMC. Some of the calls that I bought on AMC at $4.50 are now up over 100% and I am not selling a single one of them because I do think AMC is going to go way higher and I could lose it all. I could lose it all, but freaking YOLO. GameStop, on the other hand, did close at $23.99. It was almost up 5% today at $24.32 was its high and the lowest $23.10. So if we notice the volume on GameStop was at 13 million today so far and right now AMC was almost double that at 23 million in volume. So you know the volume still pretty low compared to what it was. I do think we could see a major jump and go higher than what it was trading at on May 13th and May 14th. We could go past $10 with ease. This could be the biggest freaking cup and handle forming in history if it does go up and it's like a huge cup it could go back up to forty dollars is what we're trading at in the past year we're down about 87 percent in the past month we're up in the past three months we're up in the past five days we're up in the past day we're up everything's green except for the past year once you go for the past year we're down bad which shows that amc could be starting a huge bull run it really can gme and amc can be starting a huge bull run we're up over 100% from our all-time lows. GameStop is up over 100% as well. Its low was around $10 before spiking up to 80. And yeah, this could just be the start of a freaking year bull run, a three-year bull run. Who knows? Who knows how high these two stocks are going to be trading at by the end of the year. But it could be some crazy numbers is all I'm telling you right now. It could be some crazy, crazy numbers. So this guy posted, I'm confused. If movie theaters are dead... How did Inside Out 2 earn $1 billion in just 19 days? That is insane. That is record breaking. That is freaking crazy. All these people are going to AMC to watch the movies. And when they go to AMC, they're not just going to watch the movie. They're going to go buy popcorn. They're going to go buy drinks. They're going to buy alcohol. They're going to buy candy. They're going to buy food. They might buy merch, you know. The money is there. We just need more movies to come in. And that's what's going to happen over the next two to three years. We're going to see more movies coming in than there ever was before. And AMC will pay off its debt in no time without having to dilute anymore. I hope there's no more dilution. I don't think there is going to be with all the movies coming in. I believe AMC is going to be earning the money it needs to pay off its debt and become a profitable business once again. Because this is a billion dollar industry. Anyone that's saying AMC is a zombie stock, AMC is dead, no one goes to the movies anymore. They are flat out retarded. They are retarded and they don't look at anything. That's just it. Because you just have to open your eyes and look and it's there. The information is there. So this guy said the whales cannot stop loading on GME calls. And in the past two hours, loaded over $3 million worth of calls. The majority of these calls expire on July 19th, which means these whales are expecting massive news to be coming. GME is about to squeeze past 150. So, I mean, like I said, when Roaring Kitty does do a portfolio update, if he just has any GameStop in there, that will send the stock parabolic. If he sold GameStop, then yeah. It will send the stock down more than likely. But right now, a lot of people are doubting the kitty. A lot of people think that he sold. True OGs that really know him and how he was in 2021 believe he didn't sell. But right now, the truth is no one really knows. No one knows except for Roaring Kitty. I mean, he has some master plan. I believe he has some master plan and it's just playing out, you know, exactly on pace. This lawsuit thing, I think it was a big show. I think it was done on purpose. I think Roaring Kitty has a huge plan and 4th of July is around the corner in two days. So either tomorrow or on Friday, we could see a huge move in GME and AMC stock, especially if we get word from the kitty. So this is what Adam Aaron tweeted the first day that tickets got released for sale for the movie Deadpool and Wolverine. He said many big movies will open in May, June and July, including Deadpool and Wolverine starring Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. Opens July 25th. Some 200,000 movie fans have bought their AMC tickets already. This is more day one ticket sales at AMC than for any other R-rated movie 
ever, ever in history. There's never been that much day one ticket sales for a rated R movie in history. This could be a $2 billion movie. Inside Out 2, $1.5 billion. Despicable Me, $1 billion. Freaking Deadpool and Wolverine, $2 billion. That's $4 billion, $4.5 billion right there. And obviously, it's not all going to AMC, but AMC is making loads of money from merchandise, from popcorn, from candy, from everything else that they are banking. Some people spend more on the freaking food and everything than the tickets. And I do believe that AMC is going to be a profitable business. This is a billion dollar industry. AMC has the most theaters on the planet. And yeah, the box office is about to make the biggest comeback in history. Producers are going to start producing as much movies as they possibly can. It's all playing out right before our eyes, guys. I'm telling you, AMC is at rock bottom. It already hit rock bottom at $2.38. Basically, $0.24 cents before the split. Unbelievable prices. When I saw it there, I was dead inside. Seeing AMC trading at $2.38. I personally was down over 70%. 70%. Now I do have my portfolio updated on X. It's pinned to my profile. So if you haven't already, make sure to go follow me on X. My username is Mikey's underscore money. It's right there on the screen. So if you haven't followed me, make sure to go follow me. We're almost at a thousand followers on X in less than two weeks. So I do appreciate every single one of you that have went and followed me from these videos. But look at this. This guy said, considering we will finish Q2 domestic box office over 1.9 4 billion and we're contemplating 1.5 billion to 1.6 billion a few weeks ago so those of you out there watching movies like me cheers upward box from here the box office is only going to get better from here so for q2 we're going to see around 1.9 billion better than expectations good news is going to be rolling in every freaking week for amc and the box office amc is going to be coming out with new and innovative things to make even more cash I just think it's a no-brainer. A lot of people, a lot of ignorant people, think that movie theaters are dead. You know, it's pretty common for a person to think that. You go ask your family, you go ask your friends, more than likely they're gonna say movie theaters are dead. And that's simply just not true. They just think it because they're probably retarded, but it's not true. You really just have to look. I mean, the information is right there. The box office is gonna be stronger than it was before the pandemic. That is the main reason I am extremely bullish on AMC. Not only that, but I mean, we're trading at all time lows. We just went from $2.90 to $13.50 in two days. Why the frick does that happen? It happened for a reason. And I do think we are going to break higher than that very soon. But that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, make sure to go down and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Because I do update you guys on AMC and GME stock every single day. And tomorrow is the day before the 4th of July. I wouldn't freaking be surprised if Roaring Kitty comes out and reveals his portfolio. Whatever he says will determine where GameStop goes. It's crazy to say, but it's the truth. And yeah, that is just the moment we are all waiting for. So make sure to turn on post notifications on my channel. I will be one of the first ones to let you guys know exactly what Roaring Kitty does and what he says when he comes out because he has been silent since the dog emoji. We were just waiting for an update from him. But even if he doesn't come out and say anything, my price prediction for AMC is $6 by the end of this week. I really do believe that is possible. But I'll catch you guys in my next video. As y'all know, I'm buying the dip.